So you see a five year old child, it can manage to speak. It can understand what you're talking. Maybe the kid cannot understand very complex vocabulary, high end vocabulary, but easily the kid would know some 2000 words. Right, he or she will be able to communicate with you very easily. You will understand what he or she is saying. And she or he would understand what you are saying. Very similarly, we have completed three weeks of Python. And I would regard anyone who have finished three weeks of Python as a five-year-old kid who can happily manage to talk. You can indeed start writing your code right now. In fact, you can write very complex code with just the triangle that I keep talking about. The if, the for and while, that's all it is for programming. And the rest is a little more advanced stuff that will help you code well. But otherwise, logical thinking can be translated to, you know, into action on a computer with just the very idea of variables, if, for and while. And we have done precisely that. And what is it that's pending from our side, rather from your side? You need to get novel with the kind of questions that you may want to answer. Do not browse, of course you can browse, get the questions, but then you should be able to think of your own questions for which you may want to code and answer. A puzzle that you knew from a long time. Maybe you want to try your computer to solve that puzzle. Maybe magic squares, right? You can write a beautiful code to solve a 3 cross 3 magic square. Try it and you will be thrilled to see that it works in like a fraction of a second at, 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 at a great speed. And that's why computers are fun, right? So with this, we conclude the third week. I hope you people have enjoyed and I hope you people are thinking, you know, uh, uh, novel ideas uh, which will help you code even further. Enjoy coding.